I'm helping the Amskapi Bigani um, coordinate their medicine line vaccine clinic for COVID-19. Um, they had excess supply of vaccine and just wanted to gift it to the Blackfoot Confederacy Nation members. And so this started off to be a clinic that was open to our um, uh, Nititibi, our Blackfoot Confederacy members. And um, because we have um, a fairly good uh, supply and coverage within our Blackfoot Confederacy nations. Uh, initially, a lot of our members were coming for second dose Pfizer, which we didn't have in the community. And uh, now we're getting both vaccines. So what we decided to do, or what Amskapi Bigani decided to do, to utilize their Moderna vaccine, which was going to expire, and this would have been a couple clinics ago, uh, we opened it up to the town of Cartston. And we had um, about 298 individuals come through uh, for their first dose. And so a lot of the people visiting today are coming for their second dose, which was the first clinic was over a month ago. Yeah. Getting your second shot today? Yes. We're going to be all done, finally. <laughs> How does that feel? Great. <laughs> it's been a bit of a wait, but it's worth it. Yeah. Um, what did you think when they opened this up? Were you surprised? Uh, a little bit, but I was amazed and grateful because it's too slow getting it any other way, and we were just glad they were willing to help us. Well, we got ours in, on the Easter weekend in Calgary, and they predicted four months, so... So we're happy to get yeah. down here. Oh, I think it's a great thing. It's a chance for uh, to get together with uh, other cultures and that, too to service everybody. It was overwhelming, the response, and, and I, you know, had a hard time believing that it was that hard to get a shot or vaccine in Canada or in Alberta. Uh, a lot of people are coming for um, second dose, but there was a lot of people at the last clinic that were coming because they didn't meet the criteria of the age group, and this is how much our, you know, our... Canadians or Albertans want to return back to, you know, as much normal as possible and to see their families and to get on with life.